ask me what is wrong with Kill Bill as far as the sales and accuracy, then I would have to tell you that nothing is wrong. Kill Bill is a modern narrative. It means to speak to the strength of the modern female by superimposing medieval Japanese samurai warrior tropes onto women of the 21st century. The movie is not set in a historical context and so is not forced to focus women into roles that the women of medieval Japan accept. Still, by analyzing two female characters from the movie, the bride and Gogo, we can talk about how different the women would have been in medieval Japan. Medieval Japan was dictated by a worship of Buddhist and Kami principles. For example, Kashmiri monk Gautama Sanghadeva tells us that, quote, eight of the nine evils that women possess are harsh speech, calumny, lying, jealousy, anger, ingratitude, vagrancy, and rash speech, end quote. Here, we see Gogo, who embodies most of these qualities, as the constantly angry teenager who is expressing her individuality. In medieval Japan, she would have assumed a much humbler role, especially as a teenager. At her age, she would be married and having children. Meanwhile, the bride is a revenge-hungry, cold-blooded killer on a mission to repair those who wronged her. The bride may be aptly described as, quote, no ordinary person. The effect of her deep passion was to seek wild and unruly creatures for her quest, end quote. Just like the woman turned serpent, Virginia swore wildly, sex lies and the earth will control. Still, her passion would have had to have been expressed in some violent manner, such as through writing or roles of persuasion, including being a wife, a wet nurse, or a nun. By these means, she would have found intrigue. In Kill Bill, she embodies 21st century gender authority by requiring a katana, which it would have been a strictly male weapon in medieval Japan, and exacting her revenge upon